From March of 2021 to September of last year, the number of emergency mental health calls increased nearly 75%. That's just here in Dayton, as according to city leaders. So to help meet the need in our community, the city of Dayton is creating a crisis response unit. Gwyneth Falloon is following this story for us. Joining us now live. So Gwen, what can you tell us about the new program? Well, these coordinators tell me they are still working out some of the finer details, but the city just received a $1.4 million grant. That's going to fund the program for its first two years. To start, they're going to have a seven member team to be one coordinator and then three responding teams of two, and they're hoping to launch by the end of this year. Now, how exactly is the program going to benefit the community, though? Well, Lisa, so this is not a co-response program. That means that the CRU is not going to be responding to calls with an armed law enforcement officer. They tell me, experts tell me that this often helps de-escalate a situation right from the start. When you come in and you're not in a uniform, you don't have a badge and you don't have a gun, that tends to de-escalate just a little bit or not trigger something that may have occurred before. Now, the full story can be found on our website. That's Dayton247now.com. Information on how to get involved with the CRU can also be found on our website. However, if you are experiencing an emergency uh, mental health crisis, please call 911. Back to you.